This is All India Radio. In the program Spotlight, now we bring you a discussion on reintroduction of cheetahs in India. The participants are Dr. C. K. Varshne, environmentalist, and Chetan Chauhan, journalist. The cheetahs from Namibia are probably eight are coming to India on September 17th to the Kuno National Park in Shivpur district of Madhya Pradesh. Prime Minister Narendra Modi would be there. to receive the cheetahs which will come in a special cargo plane from namibia to jaipur and from jaipur in a special air force plane to gwalior from where in a special transport they will be taken to pune also helipads have been prepared in pune at if there is a feasibility of direct landing them there it is a great achievement for the government of india because after 1952 when india officially lost cheetah the reintroduction of cheetahs in the wild under the project called a cheetah translocation project one of the biggest conservation projects taken up by the government of india in the recent past we have with us dr vasne to discuss it dr vasne the first thoughts on the cheetah project what do you think about it i think that it is a very ambitious project and a very desirable one because we originally had cheetahs in our country and they were present in the present day chatisgarh madhya pradesh and also in other parts like rajasthan and some parts of gujarat but because of the deforestation and reckless hunting that these wonderful animals which are known for their speed and for their agility were completely eradicated and they become extinct and you are rightly said that in 1947 three individual male individuals were hunted down by the maharaja and that was the end of it and thus for 70 years we had no cheetahs and the cheetahs became extinct so now to rehabilitate them and they are the ones which are found only in africa some parts of middle east but their large congregation is in south africa namibia and so on so i think this is an international translocation project which is a very very delicate and a very involved project from many respect first of all administratively secondly there are many many important precautions that has to be taken because before the cheetahs you have to select the right individual so i think four male and four female cheetahs to begin with but as it is planned they might go up to 50 spread over five different natural or wildlife areas but to begin with it is kino and it is here that lot of preparations have been made and it is going to be a soft introduction which means that no first let me tell you that that first the individuals have to be selected and how they are going to be selected they are going to be selected they should be healthy disease free and at the same time they should be in a reproductive age so that they are not old and so on and so forth they can breed and they are vital and they are full of vitality now these are very important considerations it is also important that all these individuals are collected from the wild but not the one which are raised in the zoos so that they can hunt for themselves otherwise the animals which are raised and bred in zoos are of no good for introduction in natural areas because they may not have the necessary hunting skill to really survive on their own so i think first of all the selection after they have been selected it has to be quarantined and minimum one month to really observe their health and to ensure that they are carrying no disease organisms with that and it is last for one month or even more the cheetahs are going to travel over a distance of about 8000 kilometers or 750 kilometers or something like that up to jaipur before coming to jaipur they have to do a land journey from namibia to south africa and there perhaps they are going to be loaded if i am correct but whatever it is at least 800 or 8000 kilometers of air journey is there which is a very very big shock for these animals and they have to be in captivity so i think they have to be properly tranquilized so i think the right dose of tranquilizer is important and shifting these animals is a very technical task and after they arrive in jaipur then again they are going to be loaded on the road journey which is another shock so i think these are very traumatic experience that these animals are going to face and more than that they are going to be let loose in a new circumstances in a new setting 
the plants are going to be different so to give them enough adjusting time they have to be kept in a special enclosure which is about 5 square kilometer or something like that electrically fenced and they have to be completely free from any competitive predator all of them are going to be electro collared so that they can be traced at least for next 10 years to see that they are rehabilitated it is ultimately expected that to have a sustainable population at least 35 cheetahs are going to be there so the first installment is coming from namibia maybe in october november 12 more from south africa will be coming the team from south africa was here in pune on september 15 inspected the place we are expecting that sometime in october the agreement will be signed with the south africa also for 12 more cheetahs all the cheetahs which have been brought in have been have born in wild they have stayed in captivity for some period because they were transplanted because of maybe man human animal conflict in the places where they were born but apart from that there are also many challenges which are there for cheetahs in india because in africa the grasslands are very huge and big whereas in kuna the grassland is not as big as that so the space for cheetahs to move and run is not ample and also there is a issue of thorny bushes uh, in chita or in kuno in the enclosure itself and also the pre cold distance with leopards they have been cases in south africa where uh, cheetahs have been hunted down by leopards but in some places in africa they have coexisted with uh, leopards also so it can work both ways as of now there were three leopards in the kuno enclosure which the madhya pradesh forest department has been able to relocate outside the enclosure but kuno has a good population of leopards there are about 55 to 60 leopards in kuno national park and they can enter the enclosure anytime being totally wild the ability of hunting of uh, these leopards would be better than cheetah so it present a great danger and a apart from that adjusting to the new environment uh, which is quite hot and humid environment in kuno would be a challenge and also one thing i want to ask dr vashnik from you there have been studies in africa which have shown that the breeding of captive scared cheetahs is not very good as compared to cheetahs in the wild which has been raised as a concern by different studies including one by iucn so if in case the breeding does not happen the population does not grow then this population does not become the meta population there is a danger of that the project may not succeed as the government of india and the experts at any stage i think all your concerns are quite i should say in some sense valid but i think let us not start on a negative note i must also add that a lot of preparation has gone on in you know to really welcome these new guests from africa first of all as i said that there is going to be a soft introduction which means that there is a 5 square kilometer area which has been completely trying to be made free from the leopards so that they do not have any competition from any other prey animal the second point is that there are large number of ungulates available in large number so this is another thing and once you have this kind of environment then the grassland is not as magnanimous as what we find in namibia and other african sites but at the same time are fairly fairly well stocked because ultimately it is not the grass which is a direct food but it is the ungulates and the hoofed animals and there is a large number of them which are available that is sambar and cheetal and so on and so forth about 1200 to 1500 or 20000 species individuals so i think the prey animals are not a problem because this is a very very new experience that they are going to have for many hours in captivity in a very small enclosure and with tranquilizer and so on let me also make a mention that the cheetahs are highly adaptable animals because some time back cheetahs were translocated from south africa to malawi and you know that in south africa the temperatures are sometimes 15 degrees celsius or even less while in malawi it is all the time up to 45 degrees celsius so i think the temperature tolerance range of cheetahs are pretty high they are highly adaptable and the amount of speed that they are able to gain or demonstrate or really take up 
while chasing the prey animal is uh, something which is amazing 110 kilometers and they can run up to 400 or 500 meters at one stretch so i think that gives them the great advantage over leopards and others but at the same time i think that we have to take note of all these issues that you have raised but it does not mean that to begin with we should start with the kind of apprehension that it will not succeed any project of this kind is likely to have number of hang ups and as we move along with the project we have to identify them some of them we can anticipate now their possibility some will become apparent as the project goes and is in way of really moving forward and we have to really be there so i think a large number of people have been trained by the nabivian people as well as south african people 125 and some of them are going to come to you know also to really train our people and to give them a very very clear idea about the behavior and the nature of these animals so that some of the apprehensions that you have mentioned are there but because of the training and because of the protective environment and because of the very special care that is going to be taken of these animals to begin with at least for next 10 years or so it is possible that they might really become adapted to this new home and you know that once they are there and if they are healthy and if they do not contact any disease because the disease pattern and disease organism in our environment in our ecosystems are entirely different and they will be exposing themselves for the first time so if they are able to overcome that and if our veterinarian surgeons or vet people are able to really handle any such eventuality then we have good chance that they will survive i do agree that even sometime translocation of tigers from one area to other has created lot of issues and have not been as successful as has been planned or anticipated and thus in a experiment like this which is one of the largest on international scale for these animals these are the kind of apprehensions which are valid but at the same time being aware of these apprehensions we have to prepare ourselves and we have to keep ready for any eventuality and to really deal with them to really see that how the smooth survival of these animal is enabled so to watch me i think one other question which has been asked is that they will be in enclosure so because the biggest challenge would be whether they can be released into wild being in an enclosure for such a long time because if we see the experiments or the relocation of or location of tigers from captivity to wild the success rate has been very low and for cheetahs whether they will be can be rewilded or not or the kuno enclosure will become bigger zoo is one of the big questions which many experts are raising but with the same thing i also want to say that it's a bold experiment by the government of india one of the biggest conservation programs to improve not only the wild population of cheetahs but also improving the grasslands which are the most neglected natural vegetation in the country so uh, this project will be to me it could be one of the best taking and keenly watched projects in the world and i hope it will be successful and india sees more cheetahs because the government of india and the expert panel appointed by supreme court has identified additional sites in mukundra and rajasthan some other places in gujarat where in the second or the third batch more cheetahs will be translocated if the experiment at kuno succeeds with this thanks a lot dr washney to be with us thank you you were listening to a discussion on reintroduction of cheetahs in india the participants were dr c k washney environmentalist and chetan chauhan journalist this program was produced and presented by the news services division of all india radio you can listen to it on our mobile app news on air this program is also available on our youtube channel news on air official you may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks@gmail.com